Uh, g'day guys, we're making this video um, Iron D Max um, Wanted to see what the alternator uh, output waveforms look like on the oscilloscope So we're going to do it today uh, I've got channel 1 and uh, channel 1 is, is the um, output coil in the alternator before the um, diode pack Channel 2 is the output after the diode packs at the um, just the output positive terminal of the alternator. Using a couple of uh, 10 times probes. Okay, so uh, channel channel A is going down in there, on, straight onto that um, output coil winding there, and uh, channel B is uh, straight onto the positive terminal, the output terminal of the alternator. At the moment, the car's idling at um, 550. And we'll uh, see what happens. We'll turn the uh, field on. They're at idle, the field's on. Field current is um, around 3 amps. You can see here now, we've got the uh, output coil is uh, around 27 uh, volts peak to peak. The um, positive terminal, the output terminal is um, 21.5 uh, volts RMS, so it's the DC value here. You can see a small ripple there. Uh, increase the RPM to one there. Oh, the frequency, OND wants the frequency, uh, 158 hertz there on that sine wave. It's uh, sort of a pseudo sine wave. It's a squarish uh, sine wave. So we'll take the RPM up to 1,000. Running at a thousand RPM, uh, uh, change the horizontal. Get a clearer picture. Um, we're on two milliseconds of division uh, horizontal there, but we've got our frequency readout, which is uh, quite nice. We don't need to know that. So we've got 233 hertz at 1,000. We'll have a look at 2,000. current down to about uh, two and a half amps. The current was going over 80 amps at that point. We change the horizontal again. We're on one millisecond of division. There's our frequency, 500 hertz at 2000. Brian D, 742 hertz. We'll do a HHO meter. Uh, at 90 
Change the horizontal back again. Yeah, well, I hope that helps you with your um, investigations, on D. Cheers.